Marché has provided us with a magnificent plot. Our object is first to puzzle the self-satisfied Mr. Garrick, then to frighten him. He is doubtless an arrant coward, and finally to render him a deflated, cringing figure of ridicule. I had to come here to meet you, to love you. Oh, oh I'm so terribly ashamed. I didn't know I could say things like this. Don't let me talk, please. Oh, sweet. I won't let you talk. I'll stop you. Oh, Tubby, you've missed it. I'm expected to make love to her. Oh, but it'll lead to trouble, sir. This isn't serious. Could I, David Garrick, refuse such a challenge? You sure, if you have any sense, uh, begging your pardon, sir. I'll wager the minx will give herself away within ten minutes. Oh, I don't like it, sir. I don't like it at all. I wonder, do they expect me to start, or will she make the first move? Ah! ah she starts. <laughs> Trust me, I have told you openly that I am David Garrick. Why not tell me equally honestly who and what you are? I know I can trust you. My real name is... <coughs> Help! There you Help! are! <laughs> What's that? I'm frightened. Just let me be a lunatic. All I want is a kitchen knife, and I'll frighten him out of his weights. We'll work it out. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Merci. Ah, but, uh... Well, have I been satisfactory, madame? Did I live up to your expectations? Did I make love to you soon enough and passionately enough? It was easy for you, wasn't it? You're David Garrick. All the registered emotions of passion and love are at your fingertips. You just pull the string and out comes the best love scene. The best? You overestimate your charms, madame. In his best love scene, you haven't yet seen David Garrick. <laughs>